Continuing coverage on the tragic East Utica homicide taking place just two days ago and grabbing national attention. 21-year-old Brendan Clark from Cicero has been charged with second-degree murder in connection with the death of 17-year-old Proctor graduate Bianca Devins. Clark uploaded graphic photos of her lifeless body on Instagram, and in a short time, those images have spread across the Internet. Our Jen Selick has been following this case and brings us the latest. Jen, what could you find out? Well, Thomas, this continues to be an ongoing investigation. Still many questions with no answers. We know that Clark was arraigned last night at the hospital. He is charged with second-degree murder. And earlier today, Oneida County District Attorney Scott McNamara tells me that the two went down to see a concert in the New York City area. And he does update us on how the investigation is going. This investigation is still going on. Like, do we know if he planned this? That's what we're looking into. Um, at this point, what we're doing is we're collecting, we, we collected already the cell phones. In addition, we're subpoena, subpoenaing the records from the throughway. Um, we're trying to find out, we're trying to figure out what is the timeline. At this point, the DA's office is looking to see if Devins and Clark came from Queens to Utica or made a stop to his home in Cicero before ending up in Utica. And that'll help explain some other evidence that we've come across that I can't really talk about. But, you know, there's a lot of things at this point that we're trying to put together, and, and I believe the forensics will help us. Collecting this evidence will help determine what was exactly going on in their relationship. From everything that we are able to um, determine that they were boyfriend, girlfriend, at least in my language, you know, people that were seeing each other, on a fairly regular basis for the, at least two to three months. So th this, isn't a, this is not a situation where I saw s in some initial reports on the internet that he was stalking her and, and killed her as a stalker. Isn't, that's not what we believe happened here. And both law enforcement and the DA's office are still investigating what the connection Post Street had to this along with the fire on scene. Those are very time consuming things. So, um, you know, we would, we'll go forward, but we'll be doing a lot of um, work behind the scenes on this case throughout right. the next few weeks, if not months. You know, and as recently as two hours ago, um, uh, a different app was brought to our attention that they believe was put in that he pushed stuff out on. So that's something we're looking at too. Of the censored images? No, not of the images, but comments. Comments about what he was going to do. The DA's office is currently interviewing friends and family to learn more about the two and what happened Saturday night that led to the murder on Sunday. We will continue. The covering the story as it develops, reporting in the newsroom, Jen Selig, Eyewitness News. Jen, thank you. Yesterday, the Utica City School District issued this statement. The Utica City School District is saddened to learn about the tragic and untimely passing of one of our 2019 graduates, Bianca Devins. We share our deepest heartfelt condolences with her family and loved ones. Our thoughts and prayers are with them during this very difficult time. Counseling services will be available at Proctor High School each day this week from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. The YWCA of the Mohawk Valley is reminding the community of their services in the aftermath of Bianca Devins' death. In a statement, the organization says the incident, quote, provides a glaring picture of the magnitude and devastating toll that intimate partner and gender-based violence can take, end quote. Although police did not share that stalking was an element of the homicide investigation, the YWCA says stalking adds to the probability of a dangerous relationship due to the recent tech advancements. YWCA CEO Diane Stancato says prevention and education is key to addressing the egregious issues of dating and intimate partner violence. More information on 24-hour domestic violence hotlines and YWCA services can be found with the information at the bottom of your screen.